Necessary Realness Time. I am Roxy Diaz. Don't act surprised because Morgan gave you the warning last week that I'm going to be filling in for her while she's out on maternity leave. But please, 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 please stay right here because I don't want her to lose viewers because then she's going to blame me. So I'm going to do the best job that I can. I'm not Morgan but I can be super funny also. So I can't wait to get to know you guys and fill in for my girl. And we're gonna be stalking her along the way as well. All right, so let's get into it. Since you guys don't know me, I figured it would be time for you guys to get to know me. So this is Get Real with Roxy. And our fabulous producers came up with a few questions so you guys can get to know me, okay? You could also get to know me by following me on Instagram, too. Yeah, shameless plug. So I was actually born in Honduras in a town called Tegucigalpa. And we came over to the United States when I was two years old and I was raised in New Orleans. I am already an American citizen, so you cannot turn me in for $50. Sorry. When I was a kid, I wanted to be one of those whale trainers at Six Flags. <laughs> I wanted to swim with Shamu. I swore that I was going to be a marine biologist. Like, all the way up until high school, I was like, marine biology, that's what it's gonna be. I can't even stand to get into the ocean now. I'm so scared of the ocean, so clearly the career curve was a good choice for me because I'm so scared of deep water. Like, I, I, I can't do it, no way. My zodiac sign is Scorpio. So there you go, bitch is crazy. You already know, we crazy, we jealous. We're possessive, but we're very, very loyal. I'm super loyal, like to a fault, but don't mess with mine because the singer will come out. My celebrity crush as a kid was definitely Jonathan Taylor Thomas, JTT, home improvement. That was my guy. I thought he was everything. I thought he was a finest guy in the world. Clearly my taste in guys has changed because now I think that the Allstate guy is, <laughs> I think his voice is Chris Dennis Haysburg. His voice is everything. I would be in good hands with him. And then of course my ultimate is Lenny Kravitz, but <sighs> he knows I feel some type of way about him. Like he knows this. I can't even talk when I see him. He's like the one guy that has me speechless every single time. The most famous person in my phone would be Michael B. Jordan. That is my friend, okay? You do not have the Lori Harvey goons after me. That is my friend. He's just the first person that popped in my head when you guys ask who's the most famous person in my phone. He would be one. Morgan is in my phone. She's uber, uber famous. Tiffany Haddish is in my phone. Has a celebrity ever slid in my DMs? Yes because they were trying to get these draws and just say. <laughs> it's usually athletes though, and they don't really count. For some reason, like athlete radar, they just do -do 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 proxy. Do -do 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 -do. It gets no better than when you get to sit with a president. I will never forget my time at the White House with Michelle Obama and President Obama. That's a flex, I ain't gonna lie. It's a flex move and I just flexed. But yeah, that's definitely my favorite. I have a picture in my office with Michelle Obama, Dr. Jill Biden, and me. I'm at a press junket, you know, for Leonardo DiCaprio. He's walking onto the set and there's all these mic booms hanging around. And I go stand up to greet him, but I stand up and I knock down the mic booms. And I'm just looking at him and he's looking at me and I'm just like, oh, this is stupid. Yeah, that wasn't my finest moment, but he has never forgotten me. My first regular job was I worked at a gym as a receptionist. I got fired because I was making too many personal phone calls. <laughs> My last photo actually was of me taking a selfie because I just got hair and makeup in this outfit. See, not lying. That's my last photo. The busted challenge is really funny right now, but the silhouette challenge is starting to, Tiffany Haddish did the silhouette challenge and then she had Common go into it and it's like they were having a whole dry humping silhouette scene. I was like, ooh, this is hot, this is sexy. And then Lala did the silhouette challenge and she bodied it. She. 
don't even want to do the silhouette challenge because my silhouette right now is challenging enough. But Morgan should do the silhouette challenge with that baby bump she's got. Before she pops out the baby, she should do the silhouette challenge or do it first with the baby bump and then, then have the silhouette of her holding the baby. Boom, Morgan, you're welcome. There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday, so make sure you what? Subscribe, subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that, subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.